whom everyone calls Sam, immigrated to Vancouver, Canada as a young couple. Both had come over here to seek a new life. Sam had served in the military in Yugoslavia. He had skills as a mechanic, so he came over here and started his own business. The Pesics run their garage with the help of their son, Joe. Like any parents, they want Joe to have the best of everything. The two of them were living the Canadian dream and raising their children to be successful and to ensure that they got all the opportunities that they hoped would be there for them when they came to Canada. One afternoon in 1987, Yelka and Sam are out looking for real estate investments, but they find something else, a beautiful young woman. They're speaking Yugoslavian to one another. Yelka overheard somebody speaking her language. Hello, my name is Yelka. Yelka introduces herself to the young woman. Her name is Alexandra Ignatovic. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alexandra Ignatovic, and I represent Burnaby, BC. At 19 years old, she had represented her hometown in the 1985 National Miss Canada pageant. She had a presence. She knew how to talk. She knew how to kind of really charm people. Alex didn't win a crown. But now, a few years later, she uses that charm to win over Yelka and Sam. She was beautiful. She was intelligent. She was a very stunning girl. And she was like a jewel to them. Yelka immediately thought, wow, here's this beautiful woman. She's from our culture. Uh, boy, do I have a son for you. When Alex mentions she needs a brake job on her car, Yelka pounces on the chance to play matchmaker. Yelka thought, perfect. Bring the car to the family business. Ask for a job. Thank you. My son will be there. He'll take care of your car, and hopefully, you know, something will click. Yelka thinks she's made a great move, but it's the first step in a chain of events that will change two families' lives forever. Hello. When Alex goes to the Pesic family garage, Joe is there. Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My mom was talking about you. And he's yeah, everything his proud mother brags about. It was immediate sparks. The minute she came home, she called me. She goes, oh my god, he's gorgeous. He's so nice. I can't wait for you to meet him. <laughs> Alexandra bowled him over. He was uh, a shy uh, young man. He hadn't had a lot of uh, relationships with women and she was everything he could have hoped for. They had this whirlwind romance where every night they'd go out for a really fancy dinner. She was saying he was the one within like two weeks. They just both felt it. Within months, Joe pops the question and Alex says yes. yes. Yelka was thrilled. They could walk around proud. Look, here's my daughter-in-law so smart, so beautiful. My son, look what he caught. Alex was the daughter that Yelka always wanted to have. She was a prize, like the trophy wife for their son. As a wedding present, Yelka and Sam buy a new home for the young couple. Sava was in there working day and night to do renovations exactly the way Alexandra wanted it. I feel like it's just a little bit too dark. And in fact, she was demanding in regard to what they should do in order to make the house just right. Whoa, don't take the tape off, because we're repainting. The house is a gift, but it comes with a huge price tag. Yelka has her own opinions, and she feels she's bought the right to voice them. Yelka would criticize her for her decorating choices, and the furniture that she picked was too expensive. This, this is not worth what the money that you paid for these. You should be saying. Didn't like the color of the walls that they were painting, and so, from the get-go, there was no choice that Alex could make that Yelka was going to like. As Alex plans her wedding, Yelka is very eager to help. Too eager. Yelka was on the controlling side. She just wants the best for her son. She thinks she has a better style. Well, you know, she's wanting to coax you to do it her way. What do you mean confusing? By the night before the wedding, Alex worries. Perhaps she's not making the best choice marrying into the Pesic family. She had some doubt. She was really scared and it said, I'm seeing some stuff with this family. Look and she just wants to be no, involved. No, it's 
not, it's not that. You're gonna be fine. I, of course, chalked it up to wedding night jitters. I just said, once you're married, you're in your own house, it's your business, don't worry about it. And boy, did I regret that advice. So today is a great day for you too. The ceremony is beautiful, but the happy glow that surrounds the couple begins to fade all too soon. Because Joe still works at their garage, Yelka and Sam insist on controlling his finances. The family would go to Yelka's and during dinner, payment was divvied. It was conditional in the sense of, make sure you don't do this with it or don't do that with it. Take this, put it in savings. Okay. To Joe, that was just his way of life. That's how it's always been. And Alex couldn't accept that. Distrustful of her daughter-in-law, Yelka steps up her efforts to take charge. We don't need any of these groceries. But you don't buy the right. No. Alex didn't have the right to go pick out the groceries, the kind of milk she wanted to buy. Yelka just inserted herself into the marriage, and it was too crowded. It's not about you. It's about me and Joe. And I do these. The two women are at each other's throats. I'm sure there was Alex telling her. Don't try to run my life like you've run your son's lives. It's not going to happen. No, 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 no. The knife goes on this side. What goes here? Fix this. Fix this all now. She's starting to see things in Yelka that is intrusive, that she doesn't mind her own business. You fold it seam to seam. And that uh, she really has to get her own way. Really? You're going to tell me how to fold laundry now? Butt out. Frustrated, Alex demands that Joe stand up to his mother. I will say something. Or else. Win! She wanted him to draw a line in the sand and say, this is my marriage, this is my family, and these are our decisions. He never stood up to his mom. That's how she is, Alex. That's how she's always been. And I think he just kind of got steamrolled sometimes and never could really go against his parents. We can't expect her to change. Joe never confronts his mother, but soon there is another problem. Yelka had been shoplifting minor items. Uh, she had shoplifted uh, chicken livers, you know, from the store. Is it uh, things that were totally unnecessary? Things that she could have easily afforded were were taken. She was a kleptomaniac. Yelka is caught and arrested for shoplifting and spends time in jail. When she returns home, she tries to grab control once again, but now things have changed. Alex is pregnant. Alex gives birth to her son, Brandon. But soon enough, Yelka is right there, pushing her advice on Alex. You are going to give him gas. There was a lot of conflicting ideas there about how to raise a baby. And I think that just brought more conflict into the mix rather than the joy that it should have. It was something more to have disagreements about. You must do it like this, eh? Yelka would always say, he's crying because he's not fed or he's hungry or you're not doing this right or you're not doing that right. The disputes with Yelka begin to affect Joe and Alex's marriage. Joe talks Alex into going out on a date night in hopes of repairing things. Yelka is going to babysit and wants to give the baby an herbal remedy to help him sleep. Alex would say, he sleeps fine. Please don't give him his tea. I don't know what's in that tea. I don't know if he's going to be allergic or he might have a reaction. But Yelka defies her daughter-in-law. When Alex and Joe come home, Alex finds Brandon in a deep sleep. Brandon. He was like out cold. Brandon! Yelka says, oh, I gave him some of that tea and he just fell asleep but he never woke up. What was in that tea? It was Brandon. tea. No! Alex no! rushes her infant to the emergency room, fearing he has been poisoned. This battle of wills is about to turn into a fight to the death.
Yelka Pesek, Alex's mother-in-law, has given her infant son an herbal sleeping Brandon? remedy. Brandon, what was in that tea? Oh, it's Brandon. just tea. He's fine. Brandon. But now, he's unresponsive. What was in that, Brandon? Alex was in a panic. Brandon slowly wakes up and appears to be okay, but for Alex, it's the last straw. She gives her husband an ultimatum. Either you talk to her or work through. She wanted him to say to his mom, we're gonna run our own lives. Don't meddle in our lives. We don't want your free food and your advice on how to raise a child. But Joe wouldn't stand up to his mother. When it came to it, he just could not follow through. He didn't have that the backbone. Joe's inability to stand behind Alex ultimately ends his marriage. That was the turning point. That was, I think, the end for her. I'd like to retain a divorce attorney. All right, perfect. Thank you. The court approves Alex's request for a divorce. Canadian law dictates that they split all of their assets, including the value of their home, 50-50. The Pesics felt like she shouldn't get a dime. Your woman takes your son, your money. They felt she was a gold digger and that she'd just gone after all her money. There was a certain feeling that Joe was a naive young man, that he was bowled over by someone who was attractive and vivacious. As soon as everything was done, the house was purchased, the renovations were done, the, the child was born, that things changed and that Joe was no longer good enough. Yelka and Sam vow that Alex will never get one cent from the Pesek family. That bitch will get nothing. During the custody hearings, Alex brings all of her in-law's skeletons out of the closet. People need to know the truth about Yelka. Alexandra had said Yelka's convictions for shoplifting as a reason that she wasn't of good character and shouldn't be looking after the grandchild. Boy, did her pride get raked over the coals when all her former convictions came to light. The fact that she'd been banned from all the local grocery stores. She was this big time thief. The Pesics not only lose their claim on the house, but Yelka and Sam lose visitation with Brandon. And they blame Alex for it all. They felt Alexandra was awful in what she did in the court proceedings and that the family truly was abused. Alex may have won the battle, but she starts a war with the Pesics. Alex was living in the home and her 